welcome to our Friday celebration assembly. The candle is lit. Now it's a very, very special celebration worship assembly today because today is VE Day. Now I wonder if you know what VE Day is. Well, I'm going to tell you next in this clip. So enjoy. <laughs> On May the 8th, 1945, the year that World War II ended, the Germans surrendered to the Allies. They agreed that they had lost the war and that the fighting should stop. Millions of people had died in World War II, so everyone was so happy that the fighting was over. Many people found out about the war ending through the church bells, which rang all over England and showed the people that the war was over. Lots of people came out onto the streets dressed in red, white and blue to represent the Union Jack, our country's flag. They held parties in the streets to celebrate with everyone that the war was over. Because of rationing, there wasn't lots of food for sale, so everyone coming to the party had to bring something. Some delicious food, something special, something to celebrate. The king and queen waved to everyone from the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Our current queen and her sister went out and joined the party in the street. No one knew who they were. Since 1945, the end of World War II in Europe has been marked by Victory in Europe Day, better known as VE Day. On the 8th of May 1945, Prime Minister Winston Churchill made an announcement on the radio at 3pm that the war in Europe had come to an end following Germany's surrender the day before. This year, the 8th of May, 2020 will mark 75 years since the first VE Day. Until the COVID-19 crisis struck, there had been plans to stage celebratory events and street parties in many places. Sadly, this has had to be cancelled, but many have chosen to celebrate virtually, holding video parties, decorating our homes or baking to celebrate whilst we are all in lockdown. VE Day was a very special day in our history. The end of the war with Germany, bringing with it huge joy and celebrations, but also a chance for reflection. This year marks the 75th anniversary, and we believe it should be a time for us to look back and think about an important time in our history. Something that changed our lives forever. Something that needs to be celebrated. How are you going to celebrate VE Day today? Take care. So now you know what VE Day is, Victory in Europe Day. It's a very, very, very special day for us. The ending of World War II. Now I'm wondering if any of you are going to be having a special party today. Now I know that we're in our lockdown situation and we're at home, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to celebrate. Now, I'm going to tell you about a lady called Carol Watts. Now, she is 78 years old and she remembers VE Day and she remembers the street parties that happened and how wonderful it was in 1945. So I'd like you to listen to this. A Young Child's View by Carol Watts. Carol was three and a half years old in 1945, celebrating this very, very special day. I was three and a half years old and there was a big party in our street. I had been watching all the preparation and finally we children were all sat around a big, the biggest table in the world and on the table was a huge cake with a big word on it. 
It wasn't my cake, but it was for all of us. I was sitting on a bench with some of the small children where a man came with a camera and took a photograph. There are other memories of this day, a fancy dress party and being allowed to stay up until it was dark because no one was at home. My parents and everyone else down our road were all out on the street, singing and dancing and drinking. Men had come to the house to help Dad get the piano out onto the street where my mother played and people gathered around and sang. The beer glass rings from the night mocked our piano until the end of its days, which was not that long ago. It was a wonderful, wonderful celebration for us all. A day in history. V.E. Day. It must have been a very, very special time in 1945. Lots to celebrate, lots of singing and lots of dancing for everybody. Now, the Bible story I've chosen today is about Moses, who helps God to rescue his people from the Egyptian king. Now, I've chosen this story because these people had a lot to celebrate too. Enjoy. The Big Adventure There was a great big noisy party. Everyone sang and danced. It was the best party ever. God's people were safe at last, safe from the king of Egypt. Thank you, thank you God, they sang as they danced. When they left Egypt, the people had to walk all the way. They took their pots and pans and food and clothes and blankets. They had to carry everything. All their sheep and goats and cows went too. The big boys and girls took care of them. Shoo, shoo, hurry, hurry, they said. The sheep would stop to nibble the grass. The goats would stop to chew the leaves. The cows would stop to drink the water. Hurry, hurry, the little children soon got tired. Their mothers and fathers had to carry them. Hurry, hurry, they said. We aren't safe yet. And they weren't safe yet, for the king sent his soldiers chasing after them. But God was with his people. God was showing them the way. God was keeping them safe. They reached the water. It was far too wide to cross and the soldiers were catching up with them. What would they do now? That night, God sent a wind. It blew and blew and it drove the water away. Next day, the people walked across where the water had been, but God did not let the soldiers follow them. The people were safe on the other side. That's why they danced and sang. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. They were going to a land of their own, the land God promised. They were going on a journey, a journey through the desert, a journey through the mountains, a long, hard journey. But God was going with them. God would show them the way. At night, they put up tents to sleep in. Next day, they took them down again and moved on. They had to find food for the animals. They had to find water. When they found a good place, they put up their tents again. It was hard to keep moving. Soon the food ran out and the people were hungry. They grumbled at Moses. We had plenty of food in Egypt, they said. God will give you food, Moses answered. That night a flock of little birds flew in. They had come a long way so they were tired and easy to catch and the people had meat to eat. In the morning the ground was covered with frosty white flakes. They tasted like biscuits made with honey. Delicious! The people called the new food manan. Soon the water ran out and the people were thirsty. They grumbled at Moses again. We had plenty of water in Egypt. God will give you water, Moses said. Then he hit the rock with his stick and good fresh water came out. For every day of the journey, God gave the people manan to eat. For every day of the journey, 
God helped the people find water. God took care of his people all the time. Okay, it's that part of our assembly now where we get to celebrate what you are doing at home. Now I've had lots and lots of photos sent in to me of all your work. I've also had a lot of scones. You've done a lot of baking this, uh, this week. I think that's year four and I must say they all look so delicious. I'm going to see if I can get some flour over the weekend because I am going to follow your recipe and I am going to make my own scones. Anyway, well done everybody. You're doing a fantastic job and we're all so, so proud of you. Super work. I told you all of those scones looked absolutely delicious. Well done everybody. I really enjoy looking at the work that you've been doing. Okay, now it's time for us to reflect. If you want to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. Dear God, at the start of each day, let us remember how lucky we are to live in peace in our country. Let us remember all of the brave people who helped win World War II, which now reflects on our life today. Help us to celebrate and remember VE Day. We ask that your peace lead us and guide our hearts and mind in you. Amen. Okay, now I'm not going to finish on a hymn today but I'm going to finish on a very, very special song that was very, very popular in 1945. Now, a lady called Dame Vera Lynn sang this and it's called We'll Meet Again. Now, if you know the words, sing along as well. Have a great week, everybody, and I will see you next Friday. Let the Lord be with you. Just